So we're going to burn some prairie grasses today. This is a little piece of prairie that I just burned. You can see the leading edge of the fire is right over there. And it's going to creep into the woods a little bit and then it'll go out. So we're going to burn a big prairie here in a few minutes and I'll tell you all about it. So we're walking over here to the edge of the woods. Now fire is a very important part of uh, forest ecology. Now this is not a forest fire we're looking at. This is called a cool fire because it's just on the ground. It's just a little bit of leaves burning on the very ground, but the woods themselves, they're fine. And this is very, very important because what it does is kill uh, the kinds of trees that kill the woods. It, it, in other words, it's called invasive species control. So fire is a normal part of the woods, but it's a cool fire. Because see, I can walk right on the on the ashes because it's just a little bit of a very very slow burning leaves, very shallow surface that's getting burned. And so we're burning woods, and we're going to burn the prairie here in a minute. So here's a little piece. So you see, the some pieces of the ground don't even burn because it is called a cool fire. Now obviously the flames are hot and you wouldn't touch them, but you're, you can put your hand real close because it's not a real hot fire. And so the little animals can actually duck under the leaves and do fine. And the same thing with the snakes and the lizards and the turtles. They just bury down deep into the leaves and the fire goes right over the top of them and they're fine. So what we're doing is uh, a little bit of weed control because it takes a little bit of a fire to prevent invasive species from taking over the woods. Okay. Hi there. We're gonna now. It's not recording. Just say Arts. Yeah, it is. It is. Never mind. Good. Hi, Nyla and Bobby. We're gonna burn this prairie. It's about five acres. Uh, it's very important for prairies to burn every three years, approximately. It kills the um, grasses that are not native prairie grasses. And it's very important for the ecology of the prairie. So we have what's called a drip torch. And what this does is it has fuel in it. And when you, when, it, when you turn it, it drops flaming liquid onto the prairie. Now, when you burn prairie, you want to have several things. You want to have a lot of help. We have Jim right there. He's standing by in case the prairie fire gets out of hand. <laughs> so I'm going to walk along here, and um, you follow me along. No, follow me along, and we'll uh, we're going to light the edge of the prairie. I didn't see them. Boy, that initial fire was something. Ugh, smoke. Okay, that's 
go down here and get out of the smoke. Turn it off a second. Hi, this is a picture it's, of T-Bob. It's cold out here. <laughs> T-Bob's cold. <laughs> it's warm near the fire, though. Yeah, but very smoky. But remember I was talking about how the forest floor burns cool. So does the prairie, actually. It's just burning the top, and it burns very quickly. And so the ground itself doesn't actually get hot. So I drove down to the other end of the prairie, and you can see, see the flames shooting up as the prairie fire is slowly going to make its way this direction. But again, it's very, very important. The wind is going away from me now, so it's going to burn slowly this direction. So we're walking down towards where the fire is. There's G-Mom way over here on the other side of the road in some more prairie. We're going to burn that later, but we just burn one piece at a time. So here we are at the edge of the fire, and I'm going to light my drip torch, and I'm going to go along and light a little bit more of the edge. So see where I've dripped it? It's starting to burn. This is called a drip torch. It's a very important tool in forestry and in prairie management. So I've started the whole edge along the road here and it will slowly burn across the prairie. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so we're still out here. T-Mom's watching the fire, it's slowly burning. Okay, it's a three or four minutes later. You can see it's just making very slow progress. This is called a controlled burn. It's not a wildfire. It is a controlled burn that we set on purpose and we keep it from getting out of hand. So we're back here where we started the fire. You can see that it's slowly making progress. Uh, and everything's going great right now. So it's about uh, 20 minutes later. And we've got about half the prairie burned. Jim's still doing good. I'm still doing good. G-Mom went back into the house. And we started a little bit of woods over here as well. So we're just checking out the prairie. We're about three quarters burned. Just saw a rabbit go running out of here. So because it's a slow, cool fire, all the ant wildlife gets away, which is very important. So here's some of the uh, woods floor we've set on fire. And notice how clean it is. It gets rid of all the little brush and stuff. And that's good for the trees. It doesn't hurt the trees, but it gets rid of the brush. And that means that the trees will get more water when it rains. They don't have to compete with the brush for water. And also it's good for the wildlife because the deer and the other small animals can run through the woods without getting stuck by bushes. And that's good. So here we are. The prairie is almost all burned. It's been about an hour. We do five acres and the edge of it's burning. And there's a lot of smoke over there because we are also uh, burning the floor of the woods right now. Uh, but this is all just clear and it's going to be great for the wildlife and burning stimulates the prairie grasses. Prairie grasses get about six to eight feet tall and this is very very good for the uh, for the prairie. So the woods are looking really good. They're much more clear and there's a few uh, things smoldering, but it's really cleaned up nicely. There's a hawk flying. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's two of them working this area. Oh, there's their parts parked up in this tree. Way out in the distance, pretty smoky. 
But what they're doing is looking for mice that were scared out of the fire range. And so the mice come running out and their dinner for the hawks.